Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And about to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones, so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, on Wednesday, gave the reason why President Muhammadu Buhari's government has not published the names of the Boko Haram sponsors. He said the Buhari government took the decision so as not to endanger investigations. The Attorney General of the Federation said this while addressing journalists in New York, the United States, according to a statement by his spokesman, Umar Gwendu, on Wednesday. Malami was reacting to the public criticism that has trailed the failure of the government to name the sponsors of terrorism in the country. The United Arab Emirates recently listed the names of 38 sponsors of terrorism, including six Nigerians. The statement read, Time is not ripe for holistic disclosures so as not to preempt the investigation process. The prime object remains the attainment of peace and security of our dear nation. As far as terrorism funding and financing is concerned, we have succeeded in identifying those that are allegedly responsible for funding same, and we are blocking the leakages associated with funding while embarking on aggressive investigation that is indeed impacting positively in terms of the fight against terrorism. The truth of the matter is that investigation is ongoing and advancing. For the purpose of investigation, I would not like to be preemptive in terms of making disclosures that will have the effect of undermining the successes we are recording. He noted that the COVID-19 pandemic and the recent strike embarked upon by the Judicial Staff Union of Nigeria affected the prosecution of the alleged sponsors of terrorism. Earlier, presidential aide Femi Adesino said that the Buhari-led administration was after prosecuting the suspected suspects of Boko Haram, suspected sponsors of Boko Haram, and not naming and shaming them. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular development? Now, what is the um, difference between naming them and prosecuting them? Are they going to be secretly prosecuted? You know, for once, I think the government is not being sincere about this particular issue, the sponsors of the Boko Haram. The government is not being sincere. This is just the truth of the matter. If the government is sincere, the government would not be um, having issues with naming them. If you are investigating them, how long does it take you, take you to investigate those people? And how long does it take for you to charge them to court? These are people that ought to have been, you know, charged to court. Is it not, is Dubai or the UAE not also a country like Nigeria that came out boldly to name these people? Did anything happen? Did anything go wrong? Absolutely no. But these guys, because they know that the government will not name them, or probably they had secretly signed some truce, kind of, with Nigerian government, they feel relaxed and they feel at home. They are spending looted money. 
and they are just going here and there, continuing the sponsors of these guys. That is what I believe or I assume might just be the, the issue or the case. Because just imagine, how do you think? Imagine that the level of terrorism that has affected this country and yet still the government of Nigeria does not deem it fit to want to address this issue, name the sponsors, and let everybody know so that the sponsors are, you know, are, are disgraced, they are shamed, their families, their relations, their businesses, and everything that has to do with them, you know, what happens to the lives that have been lost? to insurgency in this country? What happens to those who have died as a result of this particular situation? What happens to those who have lost everything? There are people who will never get to know their parents anymore. There are many people who, are, who were born in the process of this particular um, fight for life as a result of insurgency attacks in the northern part of the country. There are people who are splitted away from their children. They will never see them again or get to know them again. Those who have died... You know, it's just unfortunate. And that is why you see that a lot of a lot of people believe that the government is shielding these particular sponsors of Boko Haram. Like the Commodore rightly said in that particular interview on Chinese television, the government has a hand. Because some of them, the people that were mentioned as their sponsors, are still in government. Some are governors, some are in the Senate, some are working in Asurok, according to that information. So tell me, why shouldn't Nigerians believe that? Why shouldn't Nigerians believe that the government has a hand in this particular act of terrorism against the people? Of course the government has a reason and the people have reasons to believe that. This is really, really shameful. This is really, really unfortunate. And this is really, really sad. And this is what this government will be doing until their term is over. And they will just go without naming, prosecuting, or doing anything about the sponsors of Boko Haram. It is sad and unfortunate, but that is the reality that we are facing. And that is the truth. Take it or leave it. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular end. So, what are your thoughts, guys? Please share your thoughts with me at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please also hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.